Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do a special test on you today to look at the blood pressure supplying your feet and your ankles. That's the ankle brachial pressure index. Before we go any further, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? Octavius Alvey, 2nd of January 2000. Thank you. So what this is going to involve is going to involve me taking the blood pressure on both of your arms and then comparing that to the blood pressure in your feet. That is going to involve me having to use a Doppler probe to place on your feet, so there may be a little bit of jelly there afterwards. Is that okay? Sounds okay. Perfect. So to start off, I'm just going to sit you up and we're going to do your blood pressure on both wrists. So if you want to swing your leg back for me. So I'm going to do the first time, just relax down for me, and I'm going to do the first time just feeling your pulse. Okay, so your pulse disappeared at around about 110. So I'm now going to get the stethoscope, and I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to go a little bit higher than that. So now I'm just going to listen over the brachial artery and we're going to do the same again. So I'm adding an extra 30 uh, millimetres of pressure. There's 110. That's 140. Now if I let the pressure out. Okay, the sounds have returned. And disappeared. So that was from 108 to 60. So we're going to compare again on the opposite side. And we've got a rough idea of where your blood pressure is now. So we're going to just take the blood pressure using the stethoscope. So if you relax down, I'm just going to place that there for a moment. So it's 100 over 60. Okay, a bang on the bang on the dots. Right, let's take that off. So now we need to assess uh, your legs. So we'll put that there for a moment, and we're going to disregard the stethoscope now. I'm just going to put my hands on your feet, if that's okay. I'm going to try and find the pulses there. Okay. So you've got a good strong pulse at both posterior tibial. And over the front, we've got good, strong pulses at the dorsalis pedis. So I'm going to put the um, blood pressure cuff just round your ankle. Now, I won't be able to hear the, um, the blood pressure this time. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to take a, a, a sonicade bit of jelly on there. And we're going to have a listen to the pulse. Okay, let's see if we can find your pulse. There we go, it's quiet, but it is there. So we're going to do the same again, and just increase up the pulse until the sound disappears. And then we're going to let it out. Okay, so the pulse is coming back about 112 uh, systolic. Okay, so that was excellent. And now we're going to do the same again over the dorsalis pedis. Okay, and we'll do the same again all the way up. And wait for the sound to return. Super. Now we need to do the same again on the opposite side. So 
So if we kind of have to lift this leg up for me. And back down, thank you. Just put a little bit more uh, jelly on the probe. Disappeared. And again, back to about 115. Super, so I've just switched that off. There's the cuff. And we'll just remove that jelly from your legs. So, that completes our examination. Um, so the pressures in your legs are slightly higher than the pressures in your arms. So you'll have an ABPI of greater than one, which shows you've got good uh, vessels in your legs. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super. Well, thank you very much. Take care.